NASA's Ingenuity helicopter is getting ready to lift off on Mars, marking a new milestone in planetary exploration. It was supposed to happen last weekend. It's been delayed a couple of times. I just sat down with Trudy Cortez. She's the director of technology demonstrations within NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate. She's based right here in Ohio. So I want to get first off an update on Ingenuity, and I know it's been delayed again. So what's the timeline look like? Well, you're right. There was there was a slight delay, you know, um, last week. Uh, they found out that there was a command sequence problem. Uh, apparently, uh, on Ingenuity, it went from a pre-flight to a flight mode um, and without being commanded. So that was an anomaly that they discovered last week. Uh, luckily, there was an easy fix to that. There was a software upload that was done and that, that righted everything with, with, with the helicopter. So they are looking at possibly as early as this weekend, uh, maybe on the outset uh, next week for the first flight. And, you know, I think a lot of people hear about these delays. This is really a software issue. We're talking about some really high level coding and programming, right? Yeah, exactly. We are as because it's autonomous. And anytime we are looking at uh, autonomous operations on another planet with without really a lot of human interference from the ground, uh, it's sophisticated, as well as the hardware, you know, and, and you didn't mention that, but I'll just say that um, the engineers who worked for the last six years to get Ingenuity on the Perseverance mission, um, they really had to scale everything down uh, because the atmosphere on Mars is about 1% of that of, of Earth. So you're not gonna get as much lift um, and you need lift more lift than you have weight of something to get it off the ground. And uh, so this is about a four pound helicopter, which means everything's had to be scaled back, kind of like, honey, I shrunk the helicopter. So that's what that's how you can think of it. Um, and it's 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 smaller scale, uh, lightweight, and 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 that we hope is the recipe for success here. You know, Perseverance has been on Mars for a couple of months now. What are you guys hoping to learn by getting this helicopter off the ground? Is it really just about movement or are you hoping to maybe see something? You know, no, and you're right. We're on what we call Sol 56 about right now. And a Sol is kind of uh, comparable to uh, an Earth day. It's just slightly longer than, than 24 hours. And uh, so this is a true technology demonstration. There is not science on board. And, um, you know, the Perseverance rover has so many different um, science and technology payloads on board, but Ingenuity is, is, is different in that it is purely a technology demonstration. Um, you know, it's, it's about, got about a 900 square foot area to take off and land. Uh, and, you know, it's just, Evan, it's really making sure this can be done. Um, and so it took so much to get here. You know, the rover had to drive about 600 feet to this landing spot, very delicately drop it only five inches down onto the ground, back up, drive away, um, you know, uh, about 10, 15 feet away, and then let it, let it do its thing. Um, but, you know, every time we do something like this, it's a precursor to what we can do in the future. And so is it possible? Um, it, how can this benefit our human and, and science exploration missions in the future? What about what about a drone type of, of um, usage on other planets? But this would be the first powered aircraft on another planet, which is, is pretty amazing when, when I think about it. All right, Trudy Cordes with NASA. Our time is up. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to this weekend or early next week. Ah, 